Welcome to the ranch. Well, I'm not really at the ranch. I'm actually at the feed store. I just dropped off Jonathan for work and I am about to go to uh, the butcher down the road to get some meat that I need to pick up. Um, I am going to be making a video for a collaboration that I'm going to put my video up tomorrow. So I need to make my recipe and make my meal tonight. So we're going to the butcher to get some sausage. So come along with me. Today is day 13 of Vlogmas 2023. Let's go. All the good stuff right here that I just got at the market. Yes, sausage costs five dollars. Look, I don't even buy sausage like this anymore, so it's hard to believe that I just paid over twenty dollars for sausage and jerky. I really need to start making my own jerky. This jerky is amazing, but it's five dollars for like a little pound of it. What is it five dollars a pound? dollars per pound yeah that's a pound of sausage right there hmm, hard to believe but I mean a part pound of jerky but anyway yeah this this is some good sausage I'm excited to try it okay so I'm back home I pulled my hair down I blow dried it and I am now curling it um I got this curling thing a couple years ago and it is literally life changing it is amazing um I do not like to constantly do like this constantly with the curl and iron and things like that um, it just hurts my shoulders after a while and my arms get all tired and yeah, I'm a complainer. Um, when it comes to doing my hair, it can be a lot because I have a lot of hair, but this is amazing. So I'm going to try to do it while I'm watching myself through here. With the push of the button, I'm going to get like really nice curls. So I figured I'd take you guys along with me while I was sitting here in my bathroom, curling my hair, getting ready. And yes, yeah, so that is, that is saloon doors right there. That's my toilet back there. This is my master bathroom. Ready? Look at this curl. Blood out. Look at that. Isn't that so pretty? Pretty curl. So I'm going to leave it like that. Then I'll just leave them. Sometimes I do them thicker so they get like looser. Sometimes I'll go back and do a smaller one. But I'm just going to do it like this for now. I got my hair pulled up on the top. I'm about to pull that down. Abigail and my sister both said, you need to do it in sections. You do it in sections. Guess what? I don't really have time for all that mess. So I do it in two sections and that's all I get. That's all I can do. So let's brush out the top real quick. Look, straight hair, curly hair. <laughs> okay, that's just me being stupid. All right, well, I'm gonna finish curling my hair. Okay, I'm gonna leave these like this. Circle around to the back here and speed up this film. Speed it up. Pretty good, huh? Pretty good. I think it's pretty good. I like it. I like it. I'm back on the road to go pick up my kid. Here we go. I stopped and got the boys some lunch. Now Elijah brushed his teeth. Jonathan's brushing his teeth and spitting out the side. Okay, so let me show you what we used. This is what we brought with us so they could brush their teeth and I wouldn't have to bring toothpaste because I'm you know, afraid that they would squeeze out. So you take this. I actually traveled with these last year when I went on vacation and I had to take something. I could take these 
and my carry on and they won't, it's not a big deal because it's um, not liquid. So this works really good in your carry on if you need to. So anyway, I, sorry, I dropped his cap to his bottle. He has brushed his teeth with the icky tooth toothpaste that he didn't really like, but there you go, take that. And they've rinsed, all I needed was a bottle of water and the little toothpaste tabs. And you actually don't even need the toothpaste tabs I mean, the bottle of water, you could do it. I think Elijah did most of it with his spit anyway to kind of activate it, but he did use the bottle of water to rinse his mouth. So anyway, we're about to go in. They got their lunch. We got some packages from the mail and it's time to go in to get the appliances. Right through your mouth? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. If you can't breathe, you need to make sure you're like letting her know. Good. <laughs> yeah. No dying in there. <laughs> It's not, I mean, it's got a little baby wiggle to it, but nothing like crazy, so. Just mom. All right, let me see. There you go. Open it, let me see. You got your up top. There you go. How's it feel overall? Weird? I, it feels weird because I can't talk. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What do you think? Let me see. Just open up and show everybody what you got. Show, show what you got. Metal. Yeah, I am. Clean, open up. Open and close. And then you got the thing at the top. Let me see. There. The middle and the sides. Got it. How's it feel? Doesn't really hurt or anything, but. It's uncomfortable? Yeah. Just because of the jaw, like the where your jaw is. Mm -hmm. And then it feels weird to talk? Yeah. Okay. Got it. All right. <laughs> All right. We got back from. Are you going to do it again? We're back from the. Quiet on the set. Can you be quiet on the set? Okay, so we got back from the dentist. We're back from the orthodontist, and I put some stuff in the crock pot before we left, although the instant pot before we left. So let me show you what I got going on for dinner tonight because I think I'm about to wrap up this video since we went to the orthodontist. We've got dinner ready. I'm going to let these kids eat some dinner, and I've got to wrap up my video for my odd holiday meals for tomorrow. So I've got a lot of video editing to do here. Um, so let me show you what I have for dinner, and then I think I'm going to wrap this video up. Here you go, Instant Pot Santa Fe Chicken. It's like a soup if you want to eat it as a soup or you can put it over top of some rice or noodles or whatever you want. You can go out, Eric, it's fine. Sneaking out to go put hay outside. Sneaking out. So this is dinner for tonight for any of the kids that maybe some softer food needs. John, I think Elijah will definitely be enjoying this. Um, and then over here in the crock pot, is my sauerkraut and sausage. Stay tuned. Video coming out on that tomorrow as Guys, well. Guys, that's gonna wrap up day 13 of Vlogmas 2023. Look at this, 12 more days until Christmas. Can you believe it? It has been a interesting day. We've had a lot to do here. You guys did my hair, you did your hair, you did my hair with me. I think I showed you my curling of the hair. Um, we got to the orthodontist. Jonathan got some work done at his job. Um, the animals are out there being done. I think Eric's gonna have to put out hay. It's been like four days since he put out hay, so it's time for another couple rolls of hay. Um, it's dinner time, and I think we're just gonna eat dinner and finish our night with a Christmas movie. We love watching holiday movies and hanging out as a family, so that's probably how we're gonna end our day. Uh, I had a good time today talking to the um, talking to the techs over at the orthodontist too. It was really cool. If you're watching and you're new to my channel, hello. And I was able to talk to the one that um, the one lady. She was super sweet. She, um, I was talking to her about pastured poultry and they were talking about how they want to raise their own meat birds maybe and how they want to get fresh like pastured chickens. And I was telling them all about my friends, the naked gardeners, Sydney and Tori Ann, who are um, here in Texas. And she was like, oh my gosh, I have family in that area. So she's really excited. So hopefully they'll be able to get in touch with them to get some meat birds for the fall and to be able to try that really amazing pastured poultry. Um, it's really good chicken that they sell. Um, they sell chicken and turkey. Turkey. Um, they sell boxes, I believe, as well as they sell um, just that really yummy, yummy pasture raised meat. And so I'm just saying, if you're in the area, go get your hands on some of that. So I'm excited that I was able to make some friends, make some connections and share some of the things that we do here on our farm with other people. It's always such a blessing to be able to share what we do and encourage others to find that find that little piece of homesteading or find that piece of growing their own food that they want to do. You don't have to grow your own meat. You can grow your own vegetables or grow your own whatever you want. If you're able to provide for yourself in some small way, it's just such a cool thing. So be encouraged, grow your own food, grow your own meat, grow your own vegetables, whatever it is, but find ways to be able to provide and um, build on that. So 
Anyway, it was a cool day. It was a really fun day and the kids are probably gonna be a little sore. So I'm gonna go get some Tylenol in this one over here. And in the meantime, um, you stick around, come back. There's plenty more Vlogmas to be had. This is only 13. We still have 12 more days of Vlogmas, guys. 12 more days of Vlogmas. Um, I really have a good time doing this and I really appreciate you coming back each day. If you haven't hit the thumbs up, don't forget to give it a like and don't forget to leave comments. I love to hear what you have to share with me. Even if it's just you saying, wow, that's crazy, Monica, or hey, I would do it this way. <laughs> Also, stick around because tomorrow I'm dropping the Odd Holiday Meals video with my kraut and sausage and why I do it, how I do it, and all that jazz. It's going to be a quick video, but it's a fun collaboration, so you can go check all those things out. Hey, who likes great orthodontists and great orthodontist techs, dental techs? Yeah, whatever they're called. Amazing people that you can talk to and share all about your homestead with. Farmer's wives do. Thank you so much. I will see you tomorrow. Don't forget to come back and say hi. Bye.